multiplying positive and negative integers. Eva is going to Smartic Camp, and she's thinking about what clothes she needs to bring. It's in the mountains. And the instructors told her that the temperature is going to drop by 6 degrees Celsius for every mile that they climb. Her house is at sea level, and there the temperature is 14 degrees. The camp is 3 miles higher. She needs to know how many degrees lower the temperature will be at the camp in order to choose the clothes she's going to bring. What operation does she have to perform to work out how many degrees lower the temperature will be? Eva doesn't know how to multiply a negative number by a positive number yet, but she has an idea. Remember that we can view multiplication as a repeated addition. 6 multiplied by 3 is the same as saying 6 plus 6 plus 6. How can we rewrite negative 6 multiplied by 3 as repeated addition? Exactly! And since we already know how to add negative numbers, we can perform the operation. What is the result of this addition? Very good! Negative 6 plus negative 6 plus negative 6 equals negative 18. There will be a difference of minus 18 degrees between Eva's house and the camp that is situated 3 miles above sea level. If we multiply a negative number by a positive number, which type of integer do we get? If we multiply a negative number by a positive number, we always get a negative number. And what result do we get if we multiply a positive number by a negative number? To work it out, we're going to remind ourselves of a very important property, the distributive property. Use the distributive property to rewrite this product. Now we're going to find out how we can apply this property to solve the multiplication of a positive number by a negative number. The first thing we have to do is write the integer as the difference between two positive numbers. Choose one pair of positive numbers that equals negative 3 when subtracted. Perfect! Let's keep going. Now use the distributive property to rewrite the product. Very good! We know how to solve this operation. What is the result of this multiplication? Excellent! Let's continue. What is the result of the second operation? Excellent! Now do the subtraction. Very good! If we multiply a positive number by a negative number, we always get a negative number. And what result do we get if we multiply a negative number by another negative number? Just as before, we're going to use the distributive property. The first thing we have to do is write the second multiplicand as the difference between two positive numbers. Choose one pair of positive numbers that equals negative 3 when subtracted. Perfect! Let's keep going. Now use the distributive property to rewrite the product. Very good! We know how to solve this operation. What is the result of this multiplication? Fantastic! Let's continue. 
What is the result of the second operation? Excellent! Now do the subtraction. Remember that subtracting a negative is the same as adding. Very good! If we multiply a negative number by a negative number, we always get a positive number. We've seen all the possibilities. Let's review so we don't forget. If we multiply a positive number by a positive number, we get a positive result. If we multiply a negative number by a negative number, we get a positive result. If we multiply a positive number by a negative number, we get a negative result. If we multiply a negative number by a positive number, we get a negative result. In other words, to multiply any positive or negative integers, we have to multiply the two numbers as if they are both positive and then add the signs we need when we're done. If the two factors have the same sign, the result will be positive. If the two factors have different signs, then the result will be negative. Let's look at one last example before we finish. What is the result of multiplying negative 7 by negative 5? Amazing! You've learned how to multiply integers. Keep practicing so you don't forget.